So I didn't plan on making this video, but I just feel like I should. So yesterday I made a video where I used Huggle, right? Well, today I actually started to use Huggle again, but I found this really weird content dispute yesterday involving the Caliph of Islam. Apparently this guy, this Google says that this guy is the Caliph of Islam. And is this guy the Caliph of Islam, apparently? Let's take a look. This guy, is this guy appears to be the Caliph of a, of a, of some kind of sect of it, but it's, but, but basically what, well, the reason why I'm making this video is because I found this content dispute. It was on the help desk. So the help desk is basically where you, you, you ask for help on Wikipedia with editing it, but they actually had to semi-protect it. They had to semi-protect the help desk because of this content dispute. <clears throat> and just look at this. Just look at this. So many things about the Caliph of Is Caliph of Islam on here. If I just search Caliph, if I just search Caliph right here, we have 45 things on the Caliph thing. And <clears throat> why do they go to the help desk specifically? Like, why? And th they literally just send me protect the help desk, which sounds like just wrong because, you know, that means that you're going to protect, that means you're going to prevent people from getting help, right? But when you have to literally do that, then you know there's a problem. And they had to extended confirmed protect th this page on this caliph thing. But essentially, I really don't know what to do at this point. I honestly feel tempted to just request arbitration. But it's been less than one day since the dispute started, which means arbitration is probably not a good option. On second thought, maybe I should post on the dispute resolution notice board, even though people already on the dispute resolution notice board posted pages about it. Let's request dispute resolution. I mean, it isn't really a content dispute, it's just a, I literally said it was a content dispute, it's more of a conduct dispute, but I decided to go to the, to the, um, what's it called, A&I, which is the Administrator's Notice Board for Incidents, and I saw this thing, and then I decided to post about this post, and, um, the response was, it's Google, because when you Google it, it gives you this guy, and this guy, so it turns out that this and um, this um the guy the the thing that this guy is the caliph of is apparently considered to be heretical. But they think, but the people that but the people that are posting about this think that Wikipedia is responsible for this, and I'm like, okay. So now they're protecting almost all of the notice boards on all of Wikipedia. And honestly, I don't even know what to do at this point. Seriously, what is what is this? I don't know at all. Well, I think this actually would technically be able to be be able to be arbitration enforced because of this case. But is this about India? The India the India-Pakistan conflict, or is it about India and Pakistan? I mean, let's look at, look at discretionary sanctions here. Discretionary sanctions. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at what causes, what, what these discretionary sanctions... Things okay. So is this is for peeled. Well, the thing is, the editors aren't aware about these discretionary sanctions because they probably aren't even aware that they're on Wikipedia. 
So I'm just going to go and post um, a bunch of discretionary sanctions notices on their pages. DS alert Pakistan. I, IP, let's take a look at this. What? There, maybe that'll work better. If you're interested in India, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. This one will be substituted. Yep, it should be substituted there. To alert Sky to the existence of discretionary sanctions. Nope. Some log. No. In arbitration enforcement. No. In arbitration enforcement contributions. I don't see anything here, so I'm just going to put it there. Okay. Some are on template documentation. Eventually, they're going to literally vandalize the page, the, tem the template, for discretionary sanctions. <clears throat> I really don't know what, what is happening at this point on, on this on Wikipedia, so. Let's post some more discretionary sanctions notices. Wait a minute. Oh, what's on that thing? So, DS alert. Why do I use DS alert? So, essentially, alerts, um, special rules. You may not, you may not give an alert, uh, Let's add another discretionary sanctions alert just for fun. I'm just adding discretionary sanctions alerts so that way these people are aware that they that they will be banned. I said banned, not blocked. Banned. They will be may be banned and may be blocked. The arbitration committee has um, the ability to enforce. If this guy makes even one more edit, then that violates this thing. They are going. I'm going to file an arbitration request. Because I don't, I don't. One sec. I'm just gonna block the, have this user. I'm just gonna report this user for a, use, a disruptive username, and that'll be it. Bye. Before I get started, I do, before this video ends, I'm gonna say one last thing. Okay. Don't violate discretionary sanctions, ever. <laughs>